in the name of our trion god hello and welcome to everyone i am reverend joel and i am glad to meet you all through this online medium i am grateful that you have chosen to spend this time with us today the topic that we have for today is ordained ministry transformed to transform ordained ministry a divine calling to serve and shepherd god's flock Our text from the scripture illuminates the significance of this sacred duty. In Ezekiel chapter 33 verses 1 to 9, we see the role of a watchman responsible for warning and guiding God's people. In 1 Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 to 13, we find the qualifications and character of an overseer and deacons. exemplifying the standards of ordained leaders lastly in john chapter 21 verses 15 to 19 we witness jesus restoring and recommissioning peter emphasizing the transformative power of ministry together these passages offer essential insights into how ordained ministers can be transformed by god to become agents of transformation in the lives of others firstly we will see the call to ministry and the transformation within ezekiel chapter 33 verses 1 to 9 The passage from Ezekiel reminds us of the profound responsibility that comes with the call to ministry. In this account God appoints Ezekiel as a watchman over his people, calling him to deliver message of warning and hope. In the ancient times watchmen were stationed on the walls of cities to guard against danger and warn the people. Similarly God appoints ministers as watchmen to protect and guide his people spiritually every ordained minister receives a divine calling to shepherd god's flock to guide to protect to warn and to proclaim the good news the watchman was accountable for the lives of the people likewise ministers carry the weight of responsibility to deliver god's word faithfully and urgently warning against sin and leading towards righteousness however it is important to recognize that this call to ministry also brings about a transformative process within the person who responds to this call god's calling goes beyond external service it touches the depths of our hearts transforming our very being it is in our personal encounter with god and our willingness to surrender that transformation takes place the qualities and characters that god desires in his ministers are developed through this transformative journey now that we understand that watchman's role let us explore the qualities god expects from those who are called to the ordained ministry the qualities of an ordained minister 1 Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 to 13 In the letter to Timothy the apostle Paul provides a clear guidance regarding the qualifications and characteristics that should be present in those called to ordained ministry Paul highlights virtues such as integrity wisdom humility self-control and hospitality Leaders must lead lives that are beyond accusations being examples of integrity and godliness these qualities are not merely a checklist but the fruits of the holy spirit transformative work in the lives of those who answer the call an ordained minister is called to be an example to the believers both in character and conduct leaders must exhibit kindness welcoming all into the community of faith Ministers should not be motivated by greed but by the genuine desire to serve. The transformation that occurs within a minister's life is not a one-time event but an ongoing process. As they continually seek to grow in Christ-likeness through prayer, study, and accountability, ministers are empowered to embody the equalities mentioned by Paul and inspire others through their lives of faith 
as we strive to embody these qualities let us remember that god's transformative power is at work within us the power of transformation in ministry john chapter 21 verses 15 to 19 the encounter between jesus and peter by the sea shore after his resurrection holds great significance of our understanding of ordained ministry jesus asks peter three times if he loves him and with each response jesus commissions peter to care for his flock this encounter symbolizes the transformative power of god's guidance and forgiveness enabling us to move beyond our failures and embrace the ministry to which we are called Jesus commissions Peter to feed and tend to his sheep signifying that transformed individuals are called to become agents of transformation in the lives of others Jesus prepares Peter of the challenges he will face reminding us that transformation is not without its trials but with God's strength we can endure and bring hope to others Peter's transformation from a fearful denier to a bold proclaimer demonstrates the redemptive work of Christ within us. In the same way, ordained ministers are called to bring the transformative power of Christ's love and grace to others as they share the message of hope, reconciliation and forgiveness. Lives are changed, relationships are restored, communities are transformed. Imagine this. There is a beautiful butterfly fluttering gracefully through a lush garden. Its vibrant colors and delicate wings capture the attention of everyone who sees it. But have you ever considered the remarkable journey this butterfly went through to become what it is today? The butterfly's life begins as a tiny egg, carefully laid on a leaf by its mother. From this unassuming egg hatches a caterpillar. which may not seem as stunning as the butterfly it will become the caterpillar spends its days voraciously eating leaves growing in size and shedding its skin several times as it outgrows itself after a time of intense growth the caterpillar undergoes a miraculous transformation it attaches itself to a branch or a leaf spins a silk thread around its body forms a chrysalis inside this protective shell the caterpillar's body undergoes a radical metamorphosis it dissolves into a soup of cells and forms this a uh, complete reorganization occurs giving rise to a new creature entirely finally after days uh, weeks of waiting the chrysalis breaks the open and a magnificently beautiful butterfly emerges no longer bound to the earth the butterfly now soars through the skies spreading beauty and wonder wherever it goes its former life as a caterpillar seemed distant and its transformation is nothing short of miraculous in the same way ordained ministers go through a transformational process on their journey to answer god's call like the caterpillar they start as ordinary individuals each with unique gifts and limitations but when they respond to god's call and surrender themselves to his transformative work a remarkable change begins to take place god's grace and the power of the holy spirit work in their hearts molding and shaping them into the vessels fit for his service through prayer study and their embracing of their calling ministers grow in faith wisdom and love for god and his people they shed their old self and are renewed by the spirit just as the caterpillar sheds its skin and to make way for the butterfly as the butterfly's metaphor metamorphosis impacts the world around it so too do transformed ministers influence the lives of others they bring the message of hope love and redemption guiding people through the challenges of life and pointing them to the transformative power of God's grace their lives become a testament to the profound change that can occur when we yield to God's call and allow him to work in us the butterfly's metamorphosis serves as a beautiful illustration 
of the transformation that ordained ministers experience in their journey to serve God's people. From humble beginning, they go through a spiritual metamorphosis, becoming vessels of God's love, wisdom and grace. Just as the butterfly inspires awe and wonder, so do transformed ministers inspire those around them with their dedication, service and faith. Let us remember the journey of the butterfly. Whenever we encounter our ordained ministers, let us appreciate the profound transformation that has taken place within them and let us support and pray for them as they continue to spread their wings and impact the lives of all around them. Together, may we be reminded of the power of God's transformative work in our lives and be encouraged to answer His call to be the agents of transformation in our world. Everyone has this calling. Everyone of us who believe in God has this transformative calling to be ordained to be His servants, to be His child. Let us remember Ordained ministry is not just a vocation or a profession. It is a divine calling that requires a profound transformation within the heart and mind of a person. By answering this call, this person commits themselves to the life of service, reflecting the virtues and qualities outlined in scripture. Through the power of God's grace, ministers are transformed to become agents of transformation in the lives of others. Like the watchman, we are called to proclaim God's truth urgently, offering salvation and hope to the broken world. The qualities described in 1 Timothy 3 outline the character of godly leaders, which God desires to develop within each one of us. Lastly, through the story of the Peter's restoration and commissioning, we are reminded of God's transformative power and the call to be agents of positive change in the lives of those we serve. Let us pray that those called to the ordained ministry will continually seek the transformative work of the Holy Spirit in their lives. May we grow in wisdom, integrity and love so that they can effectively lead, guide and inspire those under their care. And as congregation, let us support and encourage our ministers recognizing the great responsibility they bear and the transformative impact they can have in each and every one of our lives. May God bless our ordained ministers, empowering them to be transformed to transform others. For the glory of God. Amen. May God bless you.